during one of the iftar parties I attended when a senior person entered the room many people stood up to welcome him is this a permitted act many people say it isn't is it a permitted act as far as standing up for someone to venerate him it's not permitted in Islam but if you stand up being the host to welcome some guest or if you want to stand up to welcome him or shake his hand that is good manners to stand up while shaking somebody's hand or if you're the host and if guests are coming that's perfectly fine it's a good act it's good manners it's a sunnah but standing at the door without greeting anyone without shaking hands just for respect just for veneration that's not permitted but if you're welcoming someone or if you're sitting in an office and someone comes, a guest comes and you're shaking hands with him and then you stand up for shaking hands, it's for welcoming, it is considered as a good habit and it's the sunnah and there are various hadith which speak about this for example if you read the hadith which is mentioned in Tirmidhi, hadith number 3872 it says that Prophet Muhammad he used to stand up for Fatima and Fatima used to stand up for him it says Muhammad sallallahu used to stand up for his daughter Fatima may Allah be pleased with her and she used to do the same for her father Prophet ﷺ, indicating that standing up it's not haram and it's permitted and furthermore there is a hadith mentioned in Sahih Bukhari hadith number 3043 where the Sahaba stood up on the command of Prophet ﷺ, when Saad ibn Maud he came to give the judgment on Bani Quraira that means the Prophet said that told the Sahabas to stand up and they stood up to welcome the other Sahaba and further if you read in Sahih Bukhari Hadith number 4418 it says that Talah, may Allah him he stood up and shook the hands of another Sahaba Kaab ibn Malik when he repented to Allah and Allah accepted his repentance so here it shows that one Sahaba is standing in front of the Prophet the Prophet was present there to welcome the other Sahaba and you shook hands with him so here it says that for welcoming for greeting for shaking hands if you stand up it's permitted it's a sunnah in fact it's preferable it's encouraged at the same time we have various other hadith if you read the hadith of Sunnah Abu Dawud hadith number 5211 where it says that when the Prophet entered leaning on a stick the Sahaba stood up and the Prophet objected and said that do you want to stand and give respect like the followers do? And another hadith says in Tirmidhi, hadith number 2754, the Sahaba never stood up for the Prophet because they knew that the Prophet did not like them standing for him. So here seeing all these various hadith you come to know that in different occasions, sometimes it's permitted, sometimes it is mustab, sometimes it is makhru, discouraged, sometimes it's haram. And Sheikh bin Baz, when he was asked the fatwa, may Allah have mercy on him, Rehbullah, when he was asked the fatwa, he categorized in three different categories. He said that if a person stands up for venerating someone else who is sitting down, like the people did to the Persian king, it is haram. Because the Prophet did not like it. And the Prophet said in hadith that when he was sitting and leading them in prayer, and the Sahaba stood up, he said that don't stand up when I am sitting, do not venerate me like the Persians did to the king. So standing up for someone for respect, for veneration, when he's sitting down, it is haram. The second category is when someone walks in, you stand up, but don't shake his hand, don't wish him salam. And when he sits, you sit. Or when he's leaving, even you stand up without shaking his hand, without wishing him goodbye. So this is makhru. Well, as I mentioned the several hadith that the sahabas did not stand up for the Prophet, the Prophet didn't like it. But the third category is when you stand up for greeting someone, for welcoming someone, when you shake hands with him, this is mustahab, it's encouraged, it's the sunnah of the Prophet. So standing up for shaking somebody's hand or welcoming someone and greeting him, this is mustahab, it is good manners and sunnah of the Prophet. So you classify it under three different categories.